Hello, Sean Sands here from Gamers with Jobs, back with more Kerbal Space Program Patch 1.1. Uh, I've done a couple of things since last we visited. Nothing, nothing I hadn't already done. I went ahead and finished the uh, the mission to uh, reland on the moon again and plant a flag, um, and I did that and collected a little more science. So you can see we're we're loaded up for science again, and we're doing okay as far as uh, as as money goes. So we'll start this with a little R and D. Um, to go ahead and, yeah, we want the advanced fuel systems because I, I, I covet, I covet this fuel tank. Um, not to mention the various adapters and stuff like that. Uh, next thing I would like to be aiming at somewhere over here. Let's see. I want the new, uh, capsule. I want to be able to take more than one person to the moon. I bet it's this one that says command modules. Um, I mean could be could have been something else but no it's definitely this uh so i think we're going to get this too because i'd like to take uh, at some point well maybe we won't get this right now because our next mission as isn't actually to take uh kerbals to the moon the next mission is to put a satellite in orbit around the moon um so what do i want uh we will go ahead and take some advanced construction i like the adapters i like the tricoupler i like this radial decoupler we'll go ahead and take that uh, we can be a little reckless with it. Not super reckless, but a little reckless. What's over here? Uh, photovoltaic panels. Eh, it's all kind of okay. Um, da, 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 da. Struts. Struts are nice. Uh, big, huge, fancy stack decoupler. Got a processing lab, which we'll probably take up to the moon at some point. Um, better landers stuff. Bigger heat shield. Better parachute. This is all big stuff, though. Uh, which won't be huge for us because, again, we're doing a, uh, a science mission. But, you know, we'll probably want them in the future. Uh, at some point, we're going to want to do some docking, which is terrifying. Um, I think maybe we just kind of pile up and go ahead and clear this section. I, God, I so don't care about miniaturization. Rockets bigger, not smaller. Big. Oh, yeah. No, I definitely do want uh, RCS, though, which is nice. And we'll go ahead and get our... Um, yeah, we'll just get these last two propulsion systems in there. And now we can just start focusing on the next level. That was just a reckless waste of science, but eh, so be it. Um, let's just check mission control. Fly by Minmus. I'm going to want to do that one. That'll probably be next after this. Uh, da, 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 da. Do I care about any of these? No. I think what we're going to do then is we're going to position a satellite in a specific orbit. Um Let's see, so this looks, uh, well, we'll actually go look at it on the map. What we need to do is get to the moon and, um, yeah, here's the orbit we need to get around. So it needs to be a counterclockwise orbit relative to the way I'm looking right here. This line moving this way, I think I mentioned this before, tells us which way the orbit needs to be. And let me tell you, I have made that mistake before, and it's awful. I was sitting there um, earlier in this playthrough and was just trying to gather money. I did one of these, uh, I think it was, yeah, one of these uh, two, I think probably this one right here. And I got it out there and I got it all lined up and everything was perfect. And I was like, okay, why isn't the mission completing? And it's because I was going this way, which is bad. We want to go this way. So we're going to take a satellite to the moon. What do we need on that satellite? Let's go into the VAB. And You'll actually see uh, the rocket I took to the moon recently. No, you won't see it. I guess it didn't save it. Uh, no, it didn't save it. So we'll be building from the ground up. Yeah, never mind. All right. Uh, what do we need? We need to position a satellite in an orbit around the moon. Uh, we want to... It is to an antenna. It can generate power. Uh... Yep, mystery goo, thermometer, material bays, and maintain stability. So, uh, let's see, we need a probodyne right here. This will be our probe. We want it to be able to have power. We're not gonna have to worry about parachutes or anything like that. It's never coming back. It lives in space forever now. Space is its home. Uh, we do want neck jab on there. Right, like, nope, don't need symmetry, just one. One mech jab is plenty of mech jab. Uh, needs to have be able to transmit. 
So we'll need to, well, we'll probably, let's get the science slab on it next. Because we can probably just throw the communicatron right here. Um, right like that. Actually, we're going to take this off because we want to put on a battery. Which I think will go right here. And then we'll put mech jab on top of that. So it has a battery source that it can, can power up. Uh, needs some mystery goo and a thermometer. Uh, so, yep. We'll do symmetry just so we have nice balance on takeoff and a thermometer. Uh, we'll just put that right here. All right, so let's go through this. Has an antenna. Check. Can generate power. Check. Check. Mystery goo. Check. Thermometer. Check. Material spay. Check. Great. That is our, yeah, that's our, uh, that's our probe. So let's put a uh, decoupler on there. And now we need something that blasts it into space. Uh, so, oh, nope, this. All right, we want our maneuvering stage once we're in orbit around the moon uh, to make sure that we, I don't know why I always have to say moon, like it's super, like I'm, you know, I don't know. It's, it's M-U-N. I mean, what do you want from me? What am I supposed to do? Not. And that will maneuver us around the moon and we will actually use that to get in position, uh, which means we need our transfer phase, um, and probably our primary burn phase. I don't think we, where's my, it's time for the big fancy fuel tanks. Um, let's see if I did. If I did this with a mainsail and then had. I mean, we don't need a lot of lift here. We don't need to come back. Um, so we really only need. I mean, this is already seven thousand. That's probably plenty. Now wait a minute. Is this enough? 6,000. This basically gets us into orbit. This takes us the rest of the way. Really? I mean, is this enough? Can we just do something as simple as this? It's very light. It's very efficient. Um, hmm. 7,000 seems like plenty to get to the moon. And we don't have to come back. We don't have to land. Yeah. I think we're done. Um... Okay, so let's get some aerodynamics on here. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. What do we want? Maybe just one of these? No, that's too small. I want kind of a bigger one. Um, that's not... Eh. These all feel tiny to me compared to my giant new fuel tank. Tail fans seem like a bad idea. Uh, I'm overthinking this. So we are just going to go with Delta Deluxe Wings uh, in four times symmetry. I think right like that maybe. Do I want to try and line them up with the goo canisters? I wonder if that matters. I honestly don't know. So we'll kind of line them up here. Uh, good. We'll have stability control on this. Um, I don't know if we need to bother with RCS. Because this is really just enough to get us into space. Um, how much threat to, threat, to, threat to west ratio? The threat to west ratio is 3.35. Uh, that needs to be a lot less. Let's limit that down to about 1.5. Yeah, I'm good with that. Um, gimbal on. Good. So we're taking an unmanned probe needs to get in position but yeah okay so maybe we just go with this maybe it's just super simple i don't need to overthink this yeah what am i forgetting i'm always forgetting something i know i'm gonna get there and be like oh didn't bring you know an actual probe and of course i did but uh don't need lights don't need that rcs i think you know we don't really need that because again we're just going to be using the heavy stage in uh, to get into orbit and not a lot of a lot of position. All right, we're going to go for it. Oh, let's go ahead and throw one of these stabilizers on here. Just to exit. Just the, yeah. There we go. 
uh, just to have kind of a clean launch. We've got clearance above the ground. Okay, cool. Yeah, all right. Um, I'm just, I, I, I'm so trained by this game that something's gone wrong. I've forgotten something. I didn't really feel like I needed any um, space tape. Uh, it feels pretty straight to me. Um, yeah, so throttle up. Staging could be better. So detach and burn, detach, burn, detach in at the moon. Uh, cool, 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 cool. In three, two, one. All right, that's a smooth launch. And let's get mech jab up, orbit info. Uh, we'll pull that down here. Warp helper, I'm, I'm good. Um, I'll have to, they have more stuff here now. I guess I have a fancier, fancier mech jab. I'll have to figure out what all that stuff is later. Um, we'll go ahead and start slowly maneuvering for our turn. Going up through these clouds here. Yep, we need to definitely turn. Yeah, I, I do like that effect. Thank you for suggesting the cloud mod. I didn't think it would be a big deal, but going through those clouds right there, that felt good. I liked that. Um, we're turning a lot slower than I wanted to. I was just wasting Delta V, but I think we're good now. We're getting there. We want to have a decent inclination. What's that mountain over there? Someday I will climb that mountain. Someday that mountain shall be mine. Uh, all good on speed. Apoaps at 2,500. 2,500, 27,000 more like. Uh, 30, basically 30 kilometers. Kind of pushing it, but really not getting a lot of fight back. So yeah, all right relatively smooth launch let's go ahead and bend it to about here and i want to get this up to uh we'll get it around 85 and then cut still have 4,000 in the tank oh we're getting some atmospheric effects here let's slow it down that is a waste slow it down even more we're still accelerating too uh closing in on 40,000, but we're going super fast and we're at Apoaps at, we'll call it 84 to have some to bleed off. Okay. Cool. All right. All good so far. We'll set ourselves up a maneuver node here. Get our orbit out. Roughly circular. Nope. Kind of warped past it there. Okay. Slow down. Good grief. Why can't I get this? What's the perigaps there? 56. 56. Come on. Why are you being difficult? And yep, 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 yep. There we go. That's good. Uh, all right, that's a 27 second burn. It's at 1,038 delta V, and we have 11, 11 left in the tank, so that's just about perfect. Oof, this thing does turn like a beast, though. This is this is the part where I do want RCS. I mean, I, not enough to put it on and waste a bunch of of kerbucks, um, but yeah, be nice to have right about now. But we'll get there. We got time. We wanna, yeah, we'll just burn around 13, 14 seconds. And then we will we'll save. And then we'll go to the moon. And we'll do this. This will be super clean, super easy. Bunch of money. And a new thing under our belt to get us ready to go to Minmus. Oh, oh, no. Oh, it's it's just, come on, stop turning. Mm, please stop turning. Okay, well, we'll just have to kind of go ahead and start burning so we can get it back into position and go. Not perfect, but it'll work. Good enough for Kerbal government work. All right, and get ready to stop. 
No. That's good. That's an orbit. All right, target the moon. And we'll go ahead and just set up a maneuver over here. I want it to be out. So we have 32 left in. We'll need about 900 to get into an encounter. Oop. That's only... Uh, Periaps, a million. We can do way better than that. How about 30,000? I'll take it. 854 to spend. So we'll have, okay. So it says only 16 seconds, but we only have like a second left in the tank. So that's gonna be much closer to a minute of burn. And that was super, again, it's, we're super light. So it's not gonna be that hard. I am. Oh, turn, 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 go faster. Turn faster. You're the worst. <laughs> oh, these, okay, yeah. I guess I do wish I had RCS. We're going to do the little warp trick when we get close to our, uh, uh, close to our, our targeting node. Uh, the slow spin of a probe and its giant orange tank. God, ah, that orange tank, though. I, I, you know, I know it's coincidence, but Orange Tank just gave me the sp smoothest launch ever. Just say it. I know, I know there's other things at play, but just, you, you have Orange Tank, can't go wrong, is factual information. Uh, all right. Start trying to rotate the other way. Slow ourselves down. There we go. We have to use the trick. Yeah, we'll use the trick just for fun, so we don't keep waiting. And we time accelerate. Now. I love that trick. So cheesy, so gamey, but so worth it. All right, so we want about a minute burn. So we want to start, I'm going to start about the 30 second mark. T minus five minutes. Get it down to one. And then we'll go ahead and move a little bit so that we can line it up right before we hit the burn. Ever so slowly move. Painfully slowly move. Good. Yeah, I didn't put a I didn't put a stabilizer on here. Again, just kind of being cheap. Um, Might have been worth it in this case. And I need to turn up Planet Shine. I don't feel like it's getting me enough. Okay, it hit it. And burn. Yeah, about 40 seconds left. That worked out about perfectly. All right. And we are on our way to the moon. Nice short burn. Let's make sure. Pull this up. Yep, we got the right probe. Have all the things. All the things are there. That's all good. 250, yeah, 2,500. God, I can't believe how much Delta V is in such a simple rocket. Sometimes, like, I end up building these overly complicated rockets. Like, I'll need four stages and asparagus staging and all this just to get and It's like, no, if you just had built a straight inline rocket and not put that much weight on there, um, managing weight is always better than adding complication. Uh, and good. All right. So I think we just go ahead and periaps at 91. Yeah. Can we, can we improve that? What if we, well, let's get out here. See if we can't tighten that up a little bit. We have Delta V to spare, so why not? Um, we added, let me just do that. That would move us away. Okay. That would move us way in. We would crash. What do we here? Where do we want to get roughly? Actually, that's a good question. So let's zoom in on the moon for a second. We want to be, oh, yeah, that's way out. 7, 12, and 5.46. So we actually don't even want to be that close. I'm so 
kind of used to. Uh, all right. Maybe we do that more in orbit. So, 546. Yeah. Go ahead and burn it right so we get in that periapse area that we want. Do, 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 500, 510, 520. I mean, it's not an exact science because we got a lot of other little maneuvers to do here and there too. So we can go ahead and burn this now. Um, the difference between, I mean, this far out, the difference between burning this now and burning it exactly on the node uh, is not important. It's when, you know, if you're in orbit around a planet and you're talking like, you know, making precise changes uh, close to a body, you have to be more precise with the burn. Out here, we can just go ahead and tap this out now and it doesn't matter, you know, whether we're 10 million, 900,000 meters away or, or uh, kilometers away or 10 million, 875, that doesn't, that's not going to make a bit of difference. All right. And let's go ahead and warp to our encounter. And we'll make sure the transit, the changeover works out the way we expect it to. That actually becomes roughly our periaps. Oh, oh, see, um, cancel. We lost our encounter, so we need to... We still have a moon encounter. We want we want a moon encounter. No, we still have a moon encounter. I think I'm going to save and we'll see. Yeah, let's let's zip it forward and see what happens when we hit that encounter point. Okay. Uh, yep. 596, 546, so I'm a little further out than I expected to be. And we, we have some plane changes to do anyway. Uh, that is that is a very rough orbit, though. Or, I mean, there's not a lot holding me to the moon at that point. We'll warp there. I never remember how to get it to focus back on my spacecraft. It doesn't matter. Uh, so we want to slow down a bit. How f close are we to that? We're three minutes away. Let's get closer. Two minutes away. Okay, that warp is going too slow. Um, periaps. Minute 30. We're going to need next to nothing anyway in the tank to apoapse so at 712 is what we're shooting for anyway. So we'll throw on the th quiet thrusters. Good grief, thrusters. Make some noise. There you go. Sort of. And we've achieved orbit. We want it at 712. Again, we're going to have to make more maneuvering changes again and tighten it up a bit. We might as well start from a good place. Get in the 700 range. Yeah, that's good. All right, so we have a couple of things to do. Obviously, if you look down, we're off center to our desired orbit. We are going in the right direction, um, but also equally important, we are in the incorrect plane. So I think we'll start with the plane change. We want to come here... Um, essentially lining up ascending and descending node and that is also where our orbit crosses uh the the one we want to be on do i want to go down i always feel like it's I, i'm sure there's a physics reason relatively close physics reason why this is true um, but i always feel like it's easier to maneuver up in the correction sort of in the direction of i don't know i don't know how to explain it i don't like maneuvering down I'm going to man add the maneuver here. We will just try and match it up relatively with that. Now that's going to throw off our apo apps and peri apps and all that cool stuff. Um, but that's okay. We'll change all that in a bit. All right. Good. So that's four hours away. 
Um, zip around here. Because we're really far up. You know, one time around the moon takes a takes a lot longer than um, yeah, than you might expect. So warp to next maneuver. And we'll zip around. Our unmanned probe. Doing science. Going around Kerbin. Doing space stuff. And we only need two seconds. Oh, this is gonna be super easy. 64 delta V. We'll actually start it at like 15 seconds because I'll take it pretty slow. But yeah, again, it really doesn't make much difference. This minor correction this far out, doing it now or right on time is not a huge difference. I mean, you don't want to do it on the other side of the of the moon. That's the problem is your relationship to the body you're trying to adjust against. I'm sure I'm explaining it wrong, but it it makes sense in my head. I'm not a science teacher, people. I should be a science teacher. I'd be a great science teacher uh, if I knew science. All right, great. So our plane is roughly in line. Our apoapse is 740 versus the apoapse we want. Uh, but I'm actually, I'm going to go here where our periapse is, which also seems to be where our orbits cross again. I'm going to add a new maneuver to kind of line things up a bit. Um, Get the apoapse and periapse, or do I want to go ahead and do the orbit change? Yeah, I think I think I've changed my mind. I think I want to go ahead and get the apoapse and periapse at the right general numbers. So we want to bring our apoapse down to 712. So we will zip over to our periapsis here, or here. And Come on, warp faster. That's not what warp means. Warp means super fast. Warp doesn't mean that. Uh, and let's find our retrograde. So we want to slow it down. Nope, nope, nope. Other way, that's prograde. I want to bring it down to about 712. Good, 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 good. And we'll go ahead and well, give it a second because it won't take much delta V again. Yeah. 770, 750, 740, 30, 20, 11. I'll take it. Now we want to, we can right click our periap so we can see not the spacecraft i meant the periaps 580 and we want to bring it down to 546 so we will go to our apple apps super fast and we want to bring that down to we're almost to the apple app so Go ahead and drop that down to 546, which isn't much at all. Or 542. No, we're going to bump that back out. If you're going to do it, do it right. God, my kids, my poor kids. They hear me say stuff like in real life like that. It's got to be this. Okay, come on. You're better than this. Kerbal probe. Tiniest little bump. Okay, I'm taking it. Good. Uh, and then we're finally going to move over here. We're going to add a maneuver to line up our orbits. This way? Nope, the other way. And there we go. A little bit more. It'll be real close. It may ha it may make us do? Uh, I can't imagine it will. That's no, well, yeah, might have to. We'll see. We'll see if that thinks it's good enough. Okay, but then our apoapse and periapse is lined up with our desired orbit.
Come on, I want to warp to the maneuver. Let me warp to the maneuver. Oh, you're so difficult. Ugh. Mm. Yeah, warp there. That's fine. Good enough. I love that. I <laughs> right on the heels of, if you're going to do it, do it right. Never mind. This is annoying. That's good enough. Yeah, I'm nothing if not consistent. Okay. Zip ahead a bit. Because this is so tiny that I... Yeah, that should be good. We will just touch the burners ever so softly, gently, lovingly, creepily. I don't know. Uh, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Good. Um, Yep, we're at the designated orbit, and we just need to maintain stability. Ten seconds. That is the mission complete, and we will go ahead and detach. We no longer need our fancy um, engine thingy. And we'll just fling it out, get a good momentum, and then fling it out into space. Goodbye. May your journey be forever fruitful. Um... Good job. All right. Well, that's our probe now in orbit around the moon. Uh, what did we get there for that? We got 150,000 kerbucks, 20 more science and a bunch of prestige. Uh, so not the not the toughest thing we've ever done. Pretty good. Yep. Let's see. Planted a flag, made a bunch of money off that uh, experimental data, did all that stuff. That's going to do it for this episode. Next time, I think we finally make our flyby for Minmus, uh, which I'm excited about. I love Minmus. So minty and so green. Uh, just want to scoop it up. Uh, anyway, until next time, my name is Sean Sands from GamerSwitchOps.com. At the GamerSwitchOps conference call, we will see you real soon.